Nice eyes. Hey! Whoa. Oh, sorry, guys. I thought this was the bathroom. You okay? I had it under control. Been a while. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a quick preview look at a newly released demo from Square Enix, Outriders. Originally announced in 2018, Square Enix and People Can Fly have teamed up in creating a third-person action RPG. The game itself has changed from its plan of release in 2020 due to the pandemic and looking for a release in April of 2021. The game itself looks to be something on the lines like Mass Effect as dialogue trees, story, and choice has been a main theme for the game. Along with the science fiction look and feel, this version also includes co-op multiplayer during the campaign. Outriders is developed by People Can't Fly and was released for demo purposes by Square Enix in February of 2021 and to have a retail release in April of 2021 for the PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, Microsoft Windows, and for Google Stadia. The story thus far is that your custom made character travels to a new world to start a new life with Earth dying of resources. During the beginning exploration, the world responds with heavy storms and supernatural effects that is the cause for unsuitable life to live on. The leader, not wanting to lose face, allows the colony to land without telling them of the truth and thus throws the world into chaos as factions fight to survive. Your character somehow develops powers along with others that are called the Altered and is able to live through the years in hibernation and awakens to a new chaotic land. The story is your average, take over the planet and make it livable and peaceful for everyone again. I find this very similar to Bioware's Mass Effect Andromeda as you fix planet to planet to invite colonization and fight those in your way. This game is a fast paced action shooter that relies on a third person perspective like Gears 5, The Division 2 and Mass Effect Andromeda. Overall the speed of the game's action is much faster than anticipated. The best way to explain the feel is as if you're moving around the screen like Doom Eternal in a first person view but in third person view. This makes the controls of your character feel a little bit floaty at times and really doesn't feel as grounded as other third person shooters. The action is fast and hectic and response time needs to be just as fast as if you were playing a first person shooter. I found myself not looking for cover as much with the use of superpowers you develop later in the game. The visuals are nice, especially on current generation with the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. I did see some drops in frame rate when the cutscenes began, but it quickly went back to normal. This did happen a lot during most cutscenes, but I also felt that this is still a demo and might be fixed in a final product. The design and the atmosphere of the post-apocalyptic feel was all there. Like Bulletstorm, this game by People Can't Fly is a very bloody one at that, as a single shotgun can make an enemy explode. I felt that this was more over the top than even Gears of War series, but is definitely welcome and gratifying in the fast-paced combat. Die. Oh, wait. 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 Oh, wait
The loading time on the systems were extremely fast, having you wait usually less than five seconds and it is a non-issue in this one. What? The game highlights look to be the story and character development. Even characters that were killed off will still give you a sense of who they were and what they meant to you while you explored the dialogue trees that were given to you. This part of the game is very welcome as I felt more comfortable getting to know more about the others wanting to all the characters to grow. Did any more of your people make it off Earth, Cap? My brother. Almost. But no. They got him in cryo as we evacuated L.A. Hoping we could stop the bleeding. Ah, uh, he was too far gone. Ah, oh, shit. The co-op is a nice addition with more strategic fighting with friends is what we felt early on. But in the beginning, our characters were way too powerful but had a lot of fun experimenting. There are many ways to play the character with their powers if you like to close combat to even support roles. This is a solid action RPG game and I would love to see where this goes. Luckily, any progress you make in the demo will be carried over to the retail version if you wish to purchase down the line. As excited as I was to see this game with heavy emphasis on story and action, the game steps up to the plate thus far and looks like one I will be returning to later on this year. That's it for this preview look at Outriders. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. I'm looking for Jakub Dubrowski. Go away. Listen, asshole. You got a gun pointed right at your... Damn.